Once all the dimensioning you need for your network is applied with Autofluid's computation commands, then you can start your drawing using the Smoke Exhaust Duct toolbar. Right-click on one of the toolbars to access them all, and we can start routing. Choose a network and a section size, here it will be 600 by 400. Right-click to define the path of the network. Here it is coming from above, with a normal elbow. Now draw the duct click by click. Elbows are inserted automatically between each duct. Here a chamfered elbow is inserted by default. You can right click to switch to a right elbow. Right click again to access options. Let's insert a break. Downwards. You can then dress your network using local commands. Let's insert some equipment, such as a smoke exhaust damper. Fill in the assigned block to control the smoke exhaust network later on. Let's also insert a shutter. You can use an assigned marker again, if you wish. Quick modification tools are available on this smoke exhaust routing. For example, we can change this right elbow for a chamfered elbow. A supports command is also available. These supports are easy to position and to duplicate. Also, the pressure drops of the network can be computed using ZetaCAD, a program from the Autofluid suite.